How's it going, YouTube? Just wanted to pop in and kind of document my pipe collection a little bit. I don't really have a rack system currently. I just kind of have them all laying about here and there on shelves and things of that kind. I actually did order a rack from Etsy. I forget exactly which seller, but that should be here soon. So I am excited for that, <laughs> some organization. But for now, table covered in pipes. So uh, yeah, this isn't really intended to show off anything like that, more just I can refer back to it because I'm sure this collection will change as it has changed in the past. So that's pretty much it. I love watching these kind of videos. There's not a whole lot of them out there, or if they are, YouTube kind of suppresses them and makes them hard to find. So I figured I'd throw mine out there as well. Okay, so let's just start. First is, well, I guess the biggest one first is my Vaughn Allenland, Onland, Allenland, I don't know how you pronounce it, Church Warden. The focus isn't going to get along very well with me today on this video. We're just going to have to accept that now. But this is a gorgeous Church Warden from probably one of the most famous church warden manufacturers, the Von, 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 I'm not sure how to pronounce it, uh, factory. I love the acrylic piece here that blends into the wood. This is an actual all wood stem here, and then a little piece of acrylic so you don't gnaw on the wood. Beautiful. Had, had Just had to have it. Okay, um, no particular order, I guess, so I'll just start grabbing things. This is a Moonshine Patriot. I am planning on selling some of these pipes as well, so I, I'll try to mention that. Uh, Moonshine Patriot. I have smoked it a lot. Um, probably planning on getting rid of it. Uh, I don't know. A little bit awkwardly shaped and uh, kind of heavy. Puts a lot of torque on your teeth. I'm a big time clencher, meaning I like to hold the pipe in my teeth for most of the time. So that, that is a factor, is weight. Not always. But especially something this small. I mean, I bought this as a clencher with the intention, and it's just, it's really heavy. Next is a brand new corn cob that I recently got. The Cornell and Deal Missouri Meerschaum. I think this is like the Ferryman. Something like that. I'm not sure. Nice, big, kind of Lavat poker style corn cob. It's really nice big fan I haven't smoked it yet um I've got a I've sold I sold probably 10 pipes recently and bought five so I'm still trying to break in those five before I you know do anything else really this is one of those that I haven't even begun to break in yet so nice little corn cob I'll just do all the corn cobs this these are my two Dagner corn cob pokers this one's just got a wind cap on it I bought these about five years apart this is the old one, this is the new one. Probably my favorite corn cob I've ever had. This is my second one I've ever, this is my third one I've ever had, and this is my fourth one that I've ever had. I've, I've gone through them. I burnt them out, lost them, broke them, what have you. It's corn cob, that's what they're for. That's, what, that's what's beautiful about the corn cob. Yeah, two Dagner uh, Missouri Meerschaum corn cobs, which in my opinion are the best, best corn cob pipe. Um, but I'm very biased towards the poker and towards the daggers as well. Here's a little devil cutty. Or is this just the normal little devil? I'm not sure. A little Missouri Meerschaum cob. Got a few of these. Had a few of these in the past as well. Really solid. I do dislike how when the shank enters the bowl, there's a gap here where tobacco will sit and continue to burn, even though you can't actually smoke it. So, kind of a little bit annoying, but... $14 pipe, what are you going to do? Next, I'll just do this guy. This is my Dagner designed CWA Devil Ants. I was a huge fan of the history show. Um, outside of pipe smoking. Wow, this one really didn't want to focus. So when I found out somebody was making pipes, much less the Dagners, who I watched pretty religiously as a kid. Well, not as a kid, sorry. <laughs> as a teenager... Um, it's like 17 to 20, you watch the daggers all the time, 
I um, had to get one. So yeah, little CWA hands. By the way, I have about triple extra large hands. I'm a six foot four ish. So if a pipe were really small in my hands, it's probably just kind of small. I forget who makes this one. Genod, I believe it was French when I bought on smoking pipes. This is my least favorite pipe. <laughs> I love the shape, love everything about it. It's got a wood bit that doesn't fit a softy bit, which, here, I'm gonna scooch the camera for a second, apologize, so it doesn't vibrate as much. Um, I'm a softy bit only kind of guy. Softy bit doesn't fit on this, which is irritating. Plus it's like this weird wood stem that gets kind of gooey when you chew on it, which is horrible, and it smokes terribly. So, <laughs> a little bit of a bummer. I'm not trying to be negative in this video, but there's the truth. Now, quite the opposite. My Bones pipe is amazing. I've smoked the hell out of this. It's probably the, one of the most reliable smokers I own. It was like 30 bucks, 35 bucks. Cannot complain about it. There's nothing wrong with a nice Bones pipe. This is a Bones poker. Morgan Bones. Um, whatever. This is a Brigham. I got this dirt cheap from a friend. Unsmoked. Still haven't smoked it. This is not one I plan on breaking in. This is more of a, if I have a friend who wants to try pipe smoking, this is what I'm going to give him. Or at least let him use him or her. It does sit, which is really cool for a Dublin. But I really like the Brigham classic kind of like 1940s style uh aesthetic big fan so when i saw this for cheap i was like you know what this this will make a good partner to this guy and a good handout so if if somebody's like hey i want to try pipe smoking i'll hand them this and i'll use this when i show it to them this is my brigham poker actually a pretty big fan of this i ordered this on a whim a little bit nervous wanted to try their rock maple insert system I like it a lot. Plan on getting another one probably. Not the exact same, probably. I was looking at their giant series billiard, the black rusticated. But yeah, this is really, really, really nice pipe for like 60, 70 bucks. Really nice. Uh, let's see. This is a weird Pearson. I don't know what series this is. Kenmar? Kenmare? It's, I'm assuming it's a vulcanite stem because of how discolored it is, but I've really only smoked this pipe a little bit. I don't normally do curve, curve pipes, um, but it's got a nice hefty bowl, especially for a Peterson's. Peterson's tend to hover around the 0.75 range. It's got to be 0.85, if not 0.9. I mean, this is a meaty bowl for a Peterson, and it does not have the silver band. So I do like it a lot for that reason, but the stem discolored almost immediately on me. And I'm not sure what's up with that. I've tried the haze away. It kind of worked. But the color's still there. I don't have a buffing wheel, so there's only so much I can do. But it is a nice smoking pipe when I use it. But like I said, I'm not a big fan of the curve. It's weird. I go through moods. In the winter time, I tend to prefer a curve pipe. I don't know what that says about my Zodiac sign. But there you go. Really cool Peterson. Definitely going to keep it. Had it for a long time. It's a shame I don't smoke it enough. <sighs> I hate this pipe. <laughs> uh, the stem is like super loose on it. Just the slightest. So if I pull, I struggle. But the slightest twist. And it just pops right out. Like just. Eh, if I twist it like a key just a little bit. And if somebody's clenching a lot and I grab it. If I put any torque on that bowl. That happens. I don't know why that is. No matter how hard I jam it in there. Just the t tiniest twist that comes right out. Jam it in there and try to pull. It doesn't come out. I don't know what to do with it. <clears throat> it's also a little bit smaller chamber diameter than I personally prefer. Something like this Bones, very similar chamber diameter for a lot smaller of a pipe and a lot lower price as well. I tend to prefer a larger chamber diameter. I'm not saying there's a right or wrong in that category, but that's my preference. This Morgan Bones is definitely a what I would call like a dog walker. Um, something that I would smoke while walking around. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm speaking a little funny. I've actually got a, uh, don't know if you know these exist, a nicotine toothpick. Recently quit smoking. Not cigarettes anyway. So a little bit, a little, a little. 
<laughs> a little bit jittery. So, but yeah, I do not like this Peterson Green Dublin, which is a shame because I think it looks really cool. This is probably going to be sold, and I will definitely specify the tension problem. This is a company called M Pipes, M as in Michael. Uh, Czechoslovakia, maybe? Croatia? I forget where he's from. I forget the man's name as well. It's been five or six years since I ordered this custom on Facebook. But yeah, this is a custom-made little shot glass poker. Um, it's a great pipe. The only problem is when he shipped it, he shipped it in... There was, like, newspaper in the box. And it got rained on in shipping. And to this day, it still smells like wet newspaper. And... <laughs> It's a little off-putting. It's not terrible, but it's a little off-putting. Yeah. I've smoked a bunch of nightcap through this, and it still still smells like wet newspaper. Maybe a few more years after it fully dries out, it'll be, it'll be a little bit better for me. But it's really cool, so I plan on keeping it around. This was a gift recently from my friend John. This is a big old, what do you call that apple shape? Egg? I don't know. Swollen billiard? This is a Rattray's, I believe this is the Braveheart line. Yeah, and the shape is 153, maybe? Yeah, this was a birthday gift for my buddy John. I haven't smoked it yet. Like I said, I'm still trying to work through pipes I paid for, much less gifts. And I'm really careful with gifts, so I'm kind of afraid to start smoking this. Don't want to put something funky through it or anything, but very nice Rattray's. Rattray's is one of those companies that's not super on my radar. But after holding this, I'm like, you know what? They should be. The only problem is this band. It feels a little bit chintzy, a little bit cheap. I don't know why. I, I would imagine it's fine. I mean, I've got, well, I've at least had in the past, Petersons with the silver band. I do have one pipe that's not on the table. It's a Peterson Dracula series billiard that stays in my backpack. But I don't know why, but the silver band, for some reason, on the rat rays, maybe it's the logo... I'm not quite sure. I'm not a big fan of it. But I love the pipe. I love this grain. Now it's like dark. Of course the camera's not going to pick it up very well because the lighting in here is terrible. But still, really cool. And I'm super grateful for the gift. I will definitely be using that. Um, Jake Hackard. So I've got three Jake Hackards. I've got this stubby billiard. I've got this much heavier stubby billiard with a bit of a bend to it. I've got this full-sized saddle bit billiard. So we'll just go through them real quick. All pretty much the same size. Well, these two are pretty essentially identical, other than the rustication and the colors, of course. Pretty close on chamber diameter, pretty close on bowl size, near identical silhouette. One's got a slight curve to the mouthpiece. But yeah, these are both great. All Jake Hackards that I've ever seen sit which I love sitters. This one's a bit of a wine red burgundy with like a gold cream type thing going on. And then like this metallic silver kind of stem. I don't know. It's pretty cool. Got this on smoking pipes. It was in their estate department. It had this ding in it, which I think might have subtracted from the value. Wow, this focus is just not, not playing today. Whatever. This other one I got from the same place. Likely the same person sold it to Smoking Pipes. I like the nice amber stem. I definitely like this one more in the terms of looks, but I like how this has the straight stem. Really nice, hefty billiards. This one's really cool with the black and white stem. A little bit of a smaller bowl, and just smaller in general, but it's also a Jake Hacker. I believe this is a 2018. Yeah, this is a 2018, and I think this is 2020, 2021. 2021. No, these are both 2020s right here. This is a 2018. I'm thinking about buying a brand new Jake Hackert. He still sells at eBay uh, for his fresh pipes, but we'll see. We'll see. I don't really need more pipes right now. Uh, here's a Joe Case. Rest in peace, Mr. Case. This has a very small chamber diameter for the size of the bowl, which I found really interesting. It is a Dublin with a saddle bit, which isn't extremely common. It's got this extremely aggressive rustication. 
It almost looks like Aztec or Incan carvings. It's so aggressive. I thought it was going to be a sitter, but it's not. Whatever. This is a 2015 Joe Case with the nice blue swirl saddle bit. Focuses all over the place on this. Very cool, though. Relatively unsmoked. I've only smoked it twice. Smokes fantastic, as you would expect. Really cool. This is a John Bull pipe, which, from to my understanding, is a bit of a budget line. Focus. Yeah, I got this at my local tobacconist uh, tinderbox in Costa Mesa. I believe this was just like a basket pipe or something, but I got it for cheap and I really like the how square it is. It's a little bit weird. So kind of neat. Smoked it a few times. This is pretty. I love the silhouette of this. If you can see that. It's like a modified poker Dublin billiard pot thing. This is, uh, God, what's this company's name? Winslow Crown. Excuse me. It's a little bit orange for my taste. Like if I put it next to just a standard kind of tan color pipe, you can see what I'm talking about. It's pretty orange, but it's cool because it's different. I like the pipes that are different. It's got the really long, exaggerated saddle bit. Super ergonomic, really deep, nice ball. Not smoked it yet. This is one of the few that I'm still working into rotation here. But I'm in no rush. Beautiful. I love I love holding this thing. It's so ergonomic right there. <clears throat> um, here's my Ronaldo Lithos. I believe this is a triple Y. Yeah, triple Y Titania. So this <laughs> I'm a big fan of kind of nautical things, ships, ocean liners, lighthouses, pirates, uh, clipper ships, trading, you know, pretty much the sea, I would say, not like the starfish and the seahorses, but more like the, here, I've got a Lego lighthouse set that I use for a desk lamp on my desk because <laughs> nobody's ever too old for Legos, and I imagine this dude that, that I have in front of it would smoke this pipe, if that makes sense. <laughs> put that right there but yeah this is kind of my lighthouse keeper pipe is the way I think about it huge I mean I have triple extra large hands and this thing's even a little bit big in my hand this thing is massive um, I love it it's so cartoony and just like a character caricature of what you'd expect a pipe to be technically it's a bent Dublin which I don't care what it is it's just so cool smoked it a few times now it's just so big and it's such a deep ball it's probably like over two inches deep it's a long smoke um but yeah I, I fucking love this thing sorry pardon my language this was one of those pipes where when I saw it come up for sale I just bought it like I didn't ask any questions it was used but it was lightly used and it was like two hundred dollars off it's like a hundred and something bucks versus like three eighty for a new one. I just had to. No, I have no regrets about that. Even if I never smoke it again, I just love holding and looking at this thing, and mm, it's good. Here's my most recent acquisition. This is a Sheraton's Make Belvedere. Uh, yeah. If you see the top of this thing, I wish I could show you what this looked like when I got it. But this entire rim of this bowl was charred worse than I have ever seen it had you know when you throw a fire a log on the fire and when it's done and it's all burnt out the wood essentially charcoal at this point is so burnt that it's got flakes coming up off of it it was that around this rim like somebody the only thing I can imagine is they took a cigar torch and they were like trying to toast it or something like the tobacco and they were hitting the rim and they didn't care i don't know i can't tell you how deep i sanded and they're still burning in here but i smoothed it all off polish it beeswaxed it it's okay now i also reamed the bejesus out of it and it's still got some buildup, and it still smells like burnt briar i used some of that polish on the 
vulcanite stem. Still got a little bit of discoloration. I need to get a buffing wheel. But uh, yeah, I only paid a couple bucks for it on eBay. Literally, I think I paid less than 20 bucks for it. And brand new, these are probably what, 250, 300, if, they, if you can even find one. So, I mean, Sheraton's makes aren't exactly rare, but if you want a specific Sheraton's, those are kind of hard to get because they seem to make just a little bit of everything and they don't tend to backtrack, at least in what I've seen. But if you can't tell by the, the trend here, Dublin's Pokers, Billiards. This is like Dublin Poker Billiard right here <laughs> with a saddle bit. So I was like, you know what, I'll take a chance. I really love the shape. So it's cool. We'll see how it works out. I also cleaned the bowl out with some whiskey. I was going to do isopropyl, but I was a little bit nervous about chemicals and stuff. I don't have any, um, I don't have any Everclear. Any, at least any of the real Everclear. So I used some of my Booker's that I have. That's like 66% Booker's bourbon. Just a little bit of that to clean out the inside of the bowl after reaming. Seems to have helped. Uh, I'm not sure yet. I'm going to give it a couple more days to dry off, dry out before I try it. But yeah, Sheraton's make. Just finished cleaning that right before I started recording this. <clears throat> Here is a Dagner designed Bulldog Squatter. Squatting Bulldog? I don't know what you'd call it. I think they call it the Bulldog Squat. I love their really aggressive aesthetic. Very small. Super small. This would be, again, in my dog walker category. Really neat. Love it. I love me a good small pipe. Even as a big dude. I love, like, a nice 20-minute bowl. Speaking of which, here is the first Dunhill. This is a Dunhill Root Briar. I believe this would be a Group 3. Two or three. This is a small, 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 small pipe. Very small. Compared to the Brigham, which I would consider to be small in the world of pokers. The Brigham just dwarfs this thing. But that right there, that silhouette, is just a thing of beauty. I know they make a Group 5, Group 4, 5, and maybe even 6 of this exact same silhouette, which... You don't know Dunhill's the higher the group number the larger the overall dimensions of the pipe everything scales up but to get one of these in a full size oh my god oh my god I would probably tear up five six hundred bucks and there's no way I can afford it but I just think this thing is gorgeous it's been burnt pretty heavily around the rim got it on eBay for pretty cheap because it's in rough condition but I cleaned it out polished it up a little bit can't really tell because I've been using the hell out of it. It's already getting a little bit muted again, but I love this thing. Smokes really well. Perfect little 20 minute bowl. Even for how thin the, the walls are, doesn't get too hot. It's great. I love it. And I think it's beautiful. It's a nice little compliment to my little bones pipe. Because as, although it may not look like it, because the, the bowl of the bones pipe ends about here. They hold just about the same amount of tobacco. So, love that little Dunhill. Here's another Dunhill I have. This, careful, if you, if you are easily offended, avert your eyes. This, this Dunhill has seen some stuff. So I dated this to a 1949. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong on that. This has had a rim replacement, a shortened stem, a recarved bevel on the tip of the stem, and has been probably buffed and polished who knows how many times. I got this on eBay. This is a 1949 Dunhill Root Briar Billiard. I believe Group 5? Group 5, I think. Oh, there is no group for that old. It's big. It's a very big bowl. Extremely big bowl, which I love. 75 bucks. Which some of you, you know, more collector type of people would think that's a ripoff because it's a piece of garbage because it's been defaced and, and ruined but I smoked this a few times it smokes amazing I love the size of it I wish Dunhill made this actual shape with this length stem so again I can't complain very happy with it and it sits kind of it's a little wobbly with the softy bit but without the softy bit it sits perfect very happy with this balling on the budget what can I say here is kind of a Dunhill. Uh, this is a Savoy's, I believe is how you pronounce it. 
Savoy's of London 807, I believe is the shape. I love this thing. Very reminiscent of this Sheraton's make. Kind of that poker Dublin combo. Nice, big, generous size ball. Got this guy on eBay, probably 50 or 60 bucks. One of them probably, it might, you know what? It might even be my best smoker. One of my top three. I wish I could find another one. I would buy in a heartbeat. Super nice Savoy's, which is a subsidiary or was a subsidiary of Dunhill. Here's my only Meerschaum. This is, I don't know what that maker's name is. So I can get it to focus so you can, maybe somebody out there recognizes that. Got this in Tobacco Barn in, God, I don't even remember where that place is. Maybe Laguna somewhere? Somewhere in Southern California. Got it for a great deal. It's cool. Um, I'm a little bit more quick and dirty with my <laughs> pipe smoking. I'm a little bit, you know, like one of these dick hackers. It's a little bit rough. You can kind of chuck it. it you don't got to worry about it. It's sturdy. If you smoke a little too fast or a little too slow, it'll tolerate it. Mearsome's not really that way. Um, it does have its own advantages and disadvantages. But for the way that I like to smoke, not really my thing. But I think everybody should have at least one just to experience. And I got this for a great deal a long time ago, so I have no complaints about it. I have used it a fair bit. And of course, it has its own case. Here is a Dagner 2017 Halloween Edition Poker Dublin. This is probably the prettiest pipe I've ever seen in my life. Most people I show this to tend to agree. If you don't, more power to you. That's one less eBay bidder when one comes up for sale. But just beautiful. Oh, I don't know who ha the Dagners have making their pipes. I'm really not sure. But whoever it is, they do excellent work. My only complaint about a lot of the Dagners is they get a little bit, a little bit brave with their... I don't want to say brave. One could say they overdo their logo sometimes. Um, where's the... Like, this isn't bad. It's almost like an Easter egg. It's like down there. You know what I mean? On the side, not the biggest fan. I've seen one where it's just right here, the logo. It's a little bit much for me. But I've got nothing but love for those guys. So it doesn't bother me at all. But this thing is just absolutely gorgeous just oh so good so good. and it smokes fantastic this only smokes nightcap that's the only thing i put through this in like 2017 i bought a brand new so six years seven years the only thing i've smoked through this is nightcap it's great Whew. this right here is probably in my top three favorite pipes this is a, I forget how to pronounce his last name. I believe it's Burek, Burek, Eddie Burek, I think. This is his connoisseur line, Cuddy. Now this is a traditional sailor's pipe, one might say. And this is the coolest looking one I've ever seen in this shape, bar none. Personally, to my aesthetic, the, the massive bowl, nice, deep, Oh my god, it's a sitter, which is some kind of voodoo magic. I don't know how he got it to sit. That, like, widened shank and stem instead of being perfectly round. The beautiful green patterns on it, which I hope come through on camera. Oh my god, this thing is so good. Love this thing so much. Beautiful. Beautiful. Only smoked it twice so far. Because I'm afraid to leave the house with it because it is not cheap. But it is beautiful. And last but not least, this has become my regular. I actually have a third one of these coming because I love it so much. This is a Sassini, Sassini, Old England, which is like their sub-brand. Uh, Shape 60. It's like this weird pot thing. Like a... Like a I don't really know what you would call it. It's like a night before Christmas kind of spooky pot shape with the downward bend to it and the widened, much like this cutty right here, the 
oval instead of round shank stem transition. But it's got a nice, deep, but wide bowl. Beautiful ergonomics on it. Super comfortable to hold in the teeth. Not too heavy. I've got a second one. I've got a third one coming. I've been finding them on eBay for like 40 to 60 bucks unsmoked. Cannot believe how cheap these are. For how good they smoke and how beautiful I think they are. So I'm kind of committing to this to being like my shape. If you've ever seen Mutton Chop, I know he's got that 7LA that he's got, goddamn, probably like 18 of at this point or something like that. I'm not going to go that crazy on these, but this is definitely going to be my my go-to shape just for, you know, longevity purposes. I like to have backups, so I'm not afraid to, you know, use it and things of that sort. And given that they're so cheap, I might as well just pick up some extras. And honestly, it fights off the temptation to, to make more of these decisions <laughs> if I just have a nice stock of these. So appreciate you guys watching. I uh, apologize for the focus and the lower quality of video, but yeah, that's what I got. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.